Okay, so building a clipless system for the Creighton 4S. Uh, my first I idea was I wanted to like make like a uh, hood like comes up like this and then it just um, sits there, but then I'd have to modify the front heavily. What I've thought of doing is I just want to have a system similar to the X-Max where the front comes in, clips in, and then like a locking mechanism down the back, which I think will seem the least intrusive. I'm going to use the holes, um, the original holes here, to mount my thing, so then I don't have to, um, yeah, drill any new holes into this nice uh, body. Righty, let's just remove the original mount. So this is my final print for the front. Um, PLA, but uh, 20% infill. Uh, yeah, let's bolt it. Let's put it on. Oh yes. Alright. Righty, I'm pretty stoked with that. Alright, now let's start on the rear. So for the back, I'm just going to have um, a similar mounting system here, like two pillars up here and then like a base plate through with a hole in it, and then like a cam locking system. So you just stick it through here and lock it. So I'm gonna have to drill like a hole in the middle here somewhere, but I'm still gonna use these two holes as a mounting plate. So one part for the uh, actual Creighton itself, one part for the shell and like a pin that goes through so you can, yeah, twist and lock it. This is the design, so that'll come back, back and the shell will be here and then yeah, the pins will come through there and hold it in. And this will act like a cam and locking system. So yep, let's print it and then install it. Uh, it takes so long sometimes. Okay, so this is the part that's going on the chassis on the rear. Okay, so this is the bit that's gonna go on the shell on the rear. All right, now we need to drill a hole in the rear. Righty, put a hole in there. Um, not the best, but... Dude, these pins suck. Righty, so here's the pin. Hopefully it just... Ooh, it's a bit tight. But it's through. Okay, so here's the, uh, the knob that I've just printed. Let's get it all together. Okay, testing it. So it all goes in together. spins a bit too much, I'm gonna have to fix that. Okay, so when it locks, um, it yeah, it slides in in here, so I'm just gonna put make another 3D print, another one of uh, these parts here, this one that connects it to the shell, and just put some pins hanging down, so it uh, locks it in place. Just to take out these goddamn pins, man. I hate pins. Dude, these pins absolutely suck getting out. I've been trying, I was trying with my hands, but I just <laughs> went and got the pliers. I was like, yeah, screw it. <laughs> it's too hard, far out. Okay, cool. This is the new 3D printed one. Um, got some knobbly bits in there to, probably should have made them a bit bigger, but yeah, I've printed it, so I'm gonna use it. Um, yeah, this is just from all the sports. Hats printed like this because the last one I printed like this because this at the bottom was completely flat. But now with these knobs here, I can't print it like that, so I had to print it like that. So yeah, let's install it. Okay, so I've got two drill holes in here. Um, here's those bolts there put them in position. I don't have to tap anything, I just gotta drill through because it goes all the way through and at the back there's like a thread in like that. So that's all sweet. Um, yeah, so I've just, I'm pretty happy with the height of that. 
I don't think it needs to come up or down. Um, yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. Just looking at that. I suppose that, that could come up a bit. lift it with the body like the front clips out and that's because the whole shells are coming in it's probably you know you could probably uh the easiest way to combat that i think is like just printing like a part that comes in through here to stiffen it up but but yeah i'm pretty happy with that so yeah take it for a rip and see how she goes and then, all right. Oh, it broke there as well. So after getting home and uh, removing that part out of here in the front, um, yeah, I think I've figured out what the problem is. It's not necessarily the design. Um, I printed this part like this and this part like this, like under the bottom, you can see that white is where the raft was holding it. Um, so yeah, with 3D printing, it like prints a layer, then comes up and prints another layer. And there's always, because it's not, con that isn't continuous, it's like split and it's layered on top of each other. So it doesn't, um, so yeah, sometimes the plastic struggles sticking to itself and that's what I think has happened here so yeah this is the new design the only thing I've really done is put uh, the only thing I've done at all is put these radiuses in so it doesn't crack from there and then I'm also going to print it from a different orientation so yeah this is how I printed the new one uh, yep so this one will be a little bit stronger than the last one and hopefully it lasts a lot longer than the last one did all right let's install right, this very good Ooh, I'll tell you what. Oh, that there's no way it survived that. What the hell? Holy shit! Alrighty! Well, that is a success then if I survive that. Alright, mission passed. Okay, so after taking this out, all the, uh, all the clips. All this is um, perfectly intact. There's not really, there's no damage to it. So, yeah, that's sweet. These mounts here, yeah, printing them like that, and they're way stronger. And um, yeah, that little outing, I jumped it, and uh, yeah, cracked the battery casing. So definitely put it through its paces. So yeah, that uh, definitely passed the strength test, uh, the durability test. 
So yeah, I'm happy with that. I'll just stick it up on Thingiverse and um, yeah, look at it, check it out if you've got a 3D printer. Um, yeah, put in the comments below, I suppose, if you can recommend any improvements. But yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. All right, sweet.